Hello everybody, I am the Linkzilla, and welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. Now, when we last left off, we just killed the most annoying colossi yet. That big, uh, that big, ugly, thunder-spewing bull... manatee, whatever the hell it was, it's dead now. It's dead forever, because I killed it. Four left. We are in the third act of the game, and now something has changed. There are people coming here, and I have a feeling that they're going to try to arrest Wander for basically breaking a sacred taboo or something. The vast desert lands. Giant tail drifts through the sky. Oh no. I, I can't fight this one, because thou art not alone. Who's going to help me then? Basically speaking, this is going to be a colossi that is going to be a huge spectacle, and right now I am worried about what will happen if my game suddenly get if my game play footage suddenly gets corrupted. All right, hold on a second. I swear I'm not making this up. His hair is darker now. Like, a few episodes ago it was red, now it's blue, and cracks on his face are becoming much more prominent. Son, you have a condition. Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Seriously, like, now that we're in the third act of the game, we're going to be seeing some serious shit. Yeah, 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 beast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and it's that way. Yeah. Cannot believe that on that last colossi, all I had to do was basically look at its fucking underside and see that there was moss there. I'm going to try to get to this guy as quickly as I can because, basically speaking, I've been recording a lot today, so I'm basically, like, really scraping up on the limit of what I know is actually going to go through, so... Uh, fan friggin -tastic. we're back here again. Yeah! Uh, sorry, I made you hit that yeah. tree, Agro. Yeah. Let's yeah. go that way. Yeah. Yeah. This has to be the way, because it's the only place that doesn't smell like urine! I do not yeah. like this. I feel incredibly exposed here. I feel like this is a bridge that could have collapsed at any friggin' yeah. moment. Lizard, I don't have time for you, Lizard. Yeah. Have I saved yeah. at this one? Yeah, actually I have. Should I bother saving? Let me find out which way I'm going. Agro, you're the one who's smarter than I am. Yeah. Take me to where I need to be. Yeah. 
Can I follow that ridge somehow? No, there's nothing to... There's no way. Basically, I have a feeling we gotta go back to that desert where Barbus was, and that, uh, that big sand temple. Yeah, that's it. Sand temple. Has to be more than one. I mean, it's a desert. Deserts are a great place for temples, am I right? Deserts are a great place for rel religion. Basically, the standard of living completely sucks. People are willing to- people are desperate to buy any good news you're willing to sell them. where I killed Barbus, so... Yeah. <laughs> She'll catch up, but I don't have time to basically meander around looking for the path that the horse can take. See? Ah, d that brightness is killing me. I've saved at that one. Agro. Okay, considering that th I know that this fight basically takes place in a desert, I'm going to have to adjust the brightness. See how that looks. And it looks just as terrible. But, it's the best I can do. At least I'm not being flash-blinded. There you are. It's good to know that I have someone on which I can thoroughly rely. If that's not a battle arena, then I don't know what a battle arena is. Yeah. Yeah. And rings. Yeah. Yep. Just in case. Sandstorm. Well, where the hell are ya? This seems kind of like out in the open, don't you think? What the? And it flies. Okay, this is clearly something that should not still be here. This should be something that's flying around the world, menacing everybody. Why the hell is it still here? And it has big glowing sacks on its underbelly. Kind of like what they did with Twin Mold from that stupid fucking 3DS remake of Majora's Mask. Yeah, I'm still pissed off about that. Never gonna let that go. But, if I know my video games, it's that if ever your opponent has any glowy parts of their anatomy, shoot it. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, were, were those your egg sacs? Are these your genitalia? I really hope that you donated. Yeah. That thing is huge. Uh, am I gonna have to grab its fins? Yeah. Alright, Agro. This is your moment to shine! Yeah. 
come on. Gotcha. I almost thought that I wasn't gonna make it. You hold on, boy. Wonder is just a kid. He shouldn't have to do this. And for those of you who are saying, well, Link is just a kid, look at what he goes through. Am I stuck? Am I... You see, the thing about Link is, he actually has the experience of all the times that he's being reincarnated. So, it's not like he's just... It's not like any single time that he sets out to do this is his first time. Right, I'm on it. <laughs> oh, that's convenient. Stabity, stabity! I have a feeling that that's gonna close on me like a clam. Nope. Oh! Oh! Don't, don't do that! You don't need to do that. <laughs> Mommy, tell it to stop. What the heck is this thing? Some kind of flying sand snake? Uh, it's going down. Uh, it, it, is he going under? Is he is he going to dive? He uh, he's he's veering up. It, it, he's gonna dive. Oh no, he's gonna dive. <laughs> this is going to hurt a lot. <laughs> oh, stay back, Agro. Whoa, brutal. Get up, under. The horse is gonna trample you. <laughs> I knew that it couldn't have been that easy. Yeah. 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 Graboids that can fly. Well, yeah. basically, it's kind of like a combination of Tremors Three and Tremors Tremors Five. Where the hell are you? Show yourself. There you are. Yeah. Get back in this fight. Yeah. 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 Oh, almost had it. Unfortunately, it looks like only its two front fins are big enough to climb. Where the hell is the horse? Oh. I think that this one might be the longest one. I mean... But pro I mean, basically that should be a given considering that it's a snake, serpentine body, but it might actually be the phys physically the largest colossus. At least the largest that we've fought yet. Gotcha. <laughs> you 
You see, Wander, you can basically, like, hold on in this situation. Why can't, couldn't you have held on with the friggin' manatee bullshit? Number 12, alright? His name is number 12. That is how little affection I have for said creature. He basically is a living being who probably does have a name, but I designate him as a number. Because as far as I'm concerned, he was just an obstacle to kill. A lot like this one. Basically speaking, th that's pretty much how you distinguish yourself from all your friends. But basically speaking, to me, you're nothing. You're nothing special. You're just another rat. Maybe I was the one that you should have tried to impress. <laughs> Man, I totally botched that Rick and Morty reference. But... What can I say? It's not like I'm some loser that basically binge-watches TV and movies till the point where he can memorize every single line from a movie or TV show, almost point for point. And I'm definitely not the kind of fan that's basically going to beat someone to death over a pack of McNugget sauce. Oh, you son of a bitch. Agro! Oh! Knees, boy. You have some knees. Agro! You know, basically, like, after you're done with this, there's, like, gonna be no cartilage left in your, in your knees. You're not gonna be able to basically, like, walk or withstand any kind of impact. And I should know, because a friend of mine from work, he basically has that exact same problem to the point where his knee swells up if he stays on it for too long. And guess what? I actually think that I might be in a similar boat, because literally speaking, if I stay on one of my knees for too long, it literally gets to do the exact same thing. Not as severe swelling, mind you, but basically there was one time the other year, like about a year ago, where I basically was working really hard because, like, the place I work at, we fired, like, seven people or whatever, all in, like, all at the same time. Well, maybe not fired seven. I know that, like, maybe four people got fired, maybe three people quit, or maybe it's the reverse of that situation. There you are. Basically speaking, I was working so hard and standing, like, at the, my station for so long that, basically speaking, one day, there was a loud, audible crack from my left knee, and I fell over, and they couldn't stand me up for, like, nearly 30 minutes, so it's like, wow, what the hell did we do to you? What the hell did you do to your leg, boy? And like, me? Basically, I've been working here for, like, the past, I don't know, 14 days without a break? Basically speaking, during that time, it actually got so bad that I actually started to get called in on the days where I had classes. I mean, I went to my classes first, but it's like, yeah, we need somebody to cover the later shifts, and it's like, please? And it's like, yeah, fine, I'll do it. What can I say? Money. This is going to be a chore, because not only do I have to get up onto this big bastard, I have to get to the end of his tail, so this will be good. I can... Yes! I'm the highest up the wing. Now straighten out. Straighten out your act. Stabilize. Stabilize. That's more like it. Have to get to the end of his tail before he dives again. You see, Wander, you can clearly walk on this thing. He's climbing. Yeah, you're not going to shut me out this time. Yes! And he's dead. He's history. <laughs> Look at it fall. It's actually kind of sad now that I think about it. The 13th Colossus. Executed.
come and get me. I don't care. <laughs> Breathing. Signs in the sky. Yep, I would definitely like to save. And, basically speaking, we've finally gotten to the point where there are only three Colossi left. So only three episodes left in this series. Maybe the last one will go on a bit longer because I know that there's something at the end. Maybe that'll be just a bonus episode, alright? So, thank you all so much for watching Shadow of the Colossus with me. Hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am playing it because, despite my frustrations, it is a pretty fun game. And... <laughs> Just the experience of, like, experiencing the G-forces when the Colossi move around like that. Having to basically, like, just try to grip try to grip onto something as tightly as you can. It basically kind of, like, you sort of vicariously live through Wander. Because you're, like, grabbing onto the controller as hard as you can. Your body tenses up. It's like, don't shake around so much because now you kind of feel like you're shaking around a bit. So... If you like this video, please leave a comment down in the comment section below and be sure to like and share it with your friends. If you want to keep up to date on more Shadow of the Colossus coming your way in the future, just SMASH that subscribe button and ring that little bell to become part of the notification squad. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later!